And good morning. We continue to follow that breaking news here this morning where we know a woman and a child were hurt in an overnight shooting. Yeah, this all happened not too far from 36th in Post Road. Our Alyssa Raymond has been on scene gathering details and finding out more from police. Alyssa, what do we know? Well, these investigators have been out here for two and a half hours now, and they're focusing in on a house on the left side of the street here in the 3500 block of North Whitfield Street. And what we're told is that someone actually drove by in a car and fired several rounds at this one house. We're also told there were about 12 people inside of the house when this drive-by took place. Two people in the front room were shot. We're told that's a 19-year-old woman, and police are saying that it's her niece. A one-year-old inside there as well. We're also told that there was another young child in that front room under the age of one. Right now, investigators are actually interviewing every single person inside of that house. And here's what one lieutenant had to say about a one-year-old being shot. Absolutely. I mean, a one-year-old being shot is, is bad. Um, but yeah, if there were more people shot, it could have been a lot worse. And there's multiple shell casings up there. It, it, it was quite a, you know, extravagant event. We're told the 19-year-old woman and the one-year-old child both were taken to the hospital. At this time, again, we still don't know their conditions at this time. One more look live outside that you could see the crime tape still up here. Investigators on the scene, they have so many of these bullet shell casing markers on the ground. They said that this is just an indication of how many rounds were fired. They're also dealing with the wet conditions, the rain. They said they've been able to protect a lot of the evidence considering the weather conditions out here. Back to you in the studio. All right, such a troubling story. Alyssa, thank 